Welcome to the Golden Image Music Channel. I'm Todd. I'm Larry. Howdy. And today we'll be talking to you about Canadian bands and songs that you may have been enjoying for years and may not even known they're from Canada. Eh? <laughs> but first, of course, as we always do in all of our shows, what are we listening to this week, Lair? Well, I'm listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan, and this is... Um, this is a very excellent album by him in Double Trouble called In Step. And, you know, what I'll just simply mention is there's there's something great and something terrible that I associate with this album. The great is he has never sounded better and clearer and crisper on his fantastic guitar playing. The sad thing is this was the last studio album he made before he died. And what's so ironic and, and sad about that is his first beginning part of his career, he was a drug user. He mm -hmm. was doing all sorts of bad things and substance abuse and drinking with it. And he had just checked himself into a place and gotten rid of it all. And this album was his first album where his brain and mind was clear and who knows what kind of a career this man could have had had he not died, not from an overdose, but on a freaking car, uh, airplane crash. It was a helicopter crash. But it's a yeah. helicopter. Yeah. I mean, that's the saddest thing you ever freaking heard. Yeah. And Larry, you know, I've been listening to something a little different, um, taking things down a different road. And I don't know if you've heard of the band UK before. Sure uh, have. Absolutely. Super group. Yep. Exactly and uh, right. this is their second album, Danger Money. I do actually have the very first album here of uk this one's great because it's got uh terry bozio is the drummer first album is is really good too that's got um uh bill burford as the drummer so right. it's exceptional as well so super group uk if you get a chance check them out i think you'll enjoy them Very all cool. right Lair. yeah i know there's some songs and bands that you love yep and you probably didn't even realize they were canadian right obviously the biggest group ever from canada is probably rush you got Blue Rodeo, which has won so many Junos. Uh, Sarah McLaughlin, a great songwriter who has been associated with Blue Rodeo. The Cowboy Junkies, who actually released their first album, which was recorded in a church. So anyway, there was just a, a couple groups that I, you know, think of when I think of like Canadian music. We're going to highlight Rush a little later on, but I know that you wanted to highlight a group that you've been listening to uh, for a long time, Lair. I was just getting into that country rockish uh, sound. If it wasn't the Eagles, um, then I didn't like country rock. Blue Rodeo changed that for me. And the thing I think of when I think of Blue Rodeo, I think of variety. They their strong points are so many and so varied that if you like mellow music, they got you. If you like fast paced music, they got you. If you like keyboard oriented music, they got you. You like violins in your rock and roll. They got you. It's just so much. I could listen to their albums, and I have about, um, including bootlegs, probably over 30 albums by Blue Rodeo. The first album they came out with was called Outskirts, and this is a fantastic debut album, and many of the songs on it, uh, they really stretch out and mellow keyboards, you know, before they go into other constructs of the song just fantastic music right then they had uh they came out with diamond mine and uh this also had some fantastic patriotic songs like god and country uh then love songs love and understanding girl of mine diamond mine is one of their best love songs ever and it was based on um their keyboard player rob bob weissman they had another album uh five days in july which I, I think I spoke about uh, something I was listening to last last yeah. time we uh, yeah so you, know, you listen on. you listen and, to Blue Rodeo a lot uh, Todd the group has many many uh, live albums whether it's live at Massey Hall which is a famous hall up in Canada or if it's uh, bootlegs that are kind of easily gettable or if it's albums like live at Stuttgart. Uh, which was recorded by the Live Nation thing that we talked about also previously on the bootleg show. If you're looking to to get into Blue Rodeo and see if they're 
if you dig them. Their greatest hits album is fantastic. And it's funny, the, the first song on their greatest hits is To Love Somebody, which was the Bee Gees song. And they cover it here. They have horns in it. And uh, it's a fantastic cover. And the rest of the album is wonderful. I'm telling you, uh, if you trust my taste in music at all, go get a Blue Rodeo album. See what, see what I'm talking about. And you're going to be turned on to a whole another universe of music i mean obviously a little bit bigger in canada um I, I i personally since i've met you i was that was the only time i've ever heard of blue rodeo I and mean, they must be huge in canada they used to tour worldwide and so i saw them in the u.s six seven times but as they've gotten older they tour less and when they do it's only in Canada. And they'll, now you know. <laughs> That's it. All right, Larry. So you wanted to highlight a couple of videos of Blue Rodeo. Blue Rodeo fairly recently playing something from their first album, Rose Colored Glasses, wonderful tune. And uh, although you're not going to see it on here because this is a, uh, a kind of a reunion concert with a bunch of their Canadian friends, um, their harmonies are the strong point of their first album and it's just easy going great songwriting and uh just a wonderful tune so that is uh, a little background on on my favorite group um why don't we take a closer look at um at uh todd your your favorite let's take a closer look at your t-shirt so where would we be if we didn't mention rush as a canadian band right Lair? can't do it can't do it nope you can't and in this particular case um my favorite Rush album, 2112. Wow, uh, look at this. that. Yeah, yeah, I bought this on 8-track. And uh, I think it was probably when it came out. It was one of those blue ones. You remember when you went to Kmart, you pulled the little 8-track out of the hole, and then you yeah. had to have somebody unlock it for you? Sure. My first album. This is actually a pretty cool album. Um, this was released in 76. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, the record label, Mercury, was going to drop uh, Rush uh, because their last album did not do very well, uh, right. Crest of Steel. Right. And uh, <laughs> they decided to go all out with 2112 and just kind of do all the cool stuff. And this is actually my favorite MoFi. This is um, this is a great, great album. Permanent Waves sounds incredible. It's one of those. Uh, it's numbered. Todd, and is that still available from MoFi directly from them, or is that I, I don't think on the it secondary is. market now? No, this was a limited edition. This is number 358. I think they made 10,000 of them. Gotcha. Uh, so you got it. You're going to have to, you know, discogs or whatever. Uh, this is again my favorite, not just because it's Rush, but because this thing sounds incredible. So put it on the turntable. You'll absolutely love it. Or on the radio, the spirit of radio. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, Rush was, uh, you know, Rush huge band. Actually started in the 60s, uh, 1968, with Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee, and uh, it ended up with 19 albums there, 19 studio albums. Studio uh, albums. <laughs> just studio albums, and 11 live albums. Yeah. yeah like, um, you know, their very first live album I have here is All the World's a Stage. Sure. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that this was recorded at Massey Hall. Uh, like you had mentioned, there's a lot yep. of famous bands that recorded at Massey Hall. Absolutely. This, this was recorded. This is our very first one recorded at Massey Hall with Neil Peart. Um, and then another one of uh, the 80s, A Show of Hands. This is a mm -hmm. really, really good album. Well recorded. You know the thing about Rush Live Lair? is that when Rush plays live, they make every attempt possible to play almost exactly like the studio album. I mean, they go all out. They have a lot of MIDI keyboards, a lot of uh, foot pedals, and they're able to reproduce the music without using backing tracks. It's all done live. Very first tour, 1974, with Neil Peart on drums. Now they really kicked it up. And as a matter of fact, these all of this whole entire album, Fly By Night, was yeah. actually written, all the lyrics were written by uh, Neil Peart. Yeah. All right, now we jump right into the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show of hands. Yeah. Fantastic. They're using a lot of lasers in their show. That's what I really liked about it. And look at all the keyboards that uh, Getty was using. That was kind of yeah. a turnoff for a lot of it, it, it was. This is Russian Rio. Huge. Uh, 
in great South show. America. Yeah, great show. Yeah, really great show. <laughs> Incredible. Doesn't get much better than that. Canadian band, they kick butt, uh, as sure they do. said. So does Blue Rodeo. Sure do. And, uh, we've got a little bit of trivia coming yeah. up. I'm going to play some videos, and I want you to tell me what that band is. You probably get a couple of them right off the bat, but maybe, maybe not. You know, just uh, an interesting side note is um, as I started getting into vinyl again, right after I bought my turntable, my first turntable in years, uh, the first two albums I went out and purchased, you know, specifically for my new turntable and my stereo and everything was Alan Parsons, I robot and rush moving pictures. I knew they were going to make my stereo sound wonderful. And they yeah. did, of course. <laughs> okay. Lair, I'm going to set this up. I want you to tell me what you think the band is. So here's the first clip Canadian band. I'll give you a hint. You have reach, recently purchased the album, an album. Okay. I think this is probably the Tragically Hip. It is. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a Tragically Hip fan. Now, I've had people tell me how great they are, and I should listen to them. But I will say that the one album that I did buy on Record Store Day, it, it didn't do much for me. So I'm not sure if I'm a fan or not. All right, Lair. Pretty good job on that one. What about this one? So... Uh, obviously, this is the Guess Who. Okay. Uh, and that's Burton Cummings. He's probably playing keyboards while he's singing there. And uh, Randy Bachman is the big, large guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> so there was the Guess Who, and you guessed right, Lair. Um, and not only that, you know the members of the band, which does not surprise me one bit. All right, here's another <laughs> one. All right, Lair. So... I'm guessing this is, uh, yeah, this is Bachman Turner Overdrive, another great Canadian band. Uh, so you got Randy Bachman, Joe Lynn Turner, who was singing for them. And this was kind of a super band put together. Joe Lynn Turner later on uh, went to sing for, Rainbow, sing for Rainbow, too. Yeah, fantastic group. The best of BTO is actually an incredible Once again, album. absolutely. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah. All right, Lair. <laughs> so yeah. That's John Kay and Steppenwolf. That's it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, another Canadian band. Uh, I would have never thought. I didn't even know Steppenwolf. Um, you know, years ago, I didn't. I had no idea. I thought it was an American band. So I heard the music, and I knew who it was. But yeah. I'll be honest with you. I didn't realize. I never associated them with being a Canadian band. Actually, Born to be Wild, you think, man, how more American does that sound, that song, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, here we go, there. Little guitar intro here. Uh, so this is not Freebird by Leonard Skinner. I can tell you that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you getting it? Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. So this is one of my, I, I like this group. I, 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 I don't hate these guys. I like them. This is April Wine. Yeah. Uh, Sign of the Gypsy. That's Miles Goodwin, who is their lead vocalist and guitarist. Their biggest hit, of course, was Just Between You and Me, which was kind of, would you call it a ballad? Kinda? I would say it was a ballad, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, interesting. Because that's not what they were about, ballads. Yeah, but they their were biggest hit. Same thing with Nazareth. Their biggest hit was Love, Love Hurts, which was a ballad, which was totally out of character for the, the band. Kind of interesting. All right, Lair. Get ready. Here comes another one. All righty. Yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Yeah, this is this is a group that the the only song I ever cared about by them was "Working for the Weekend," Lover Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, Lover Boy. Yeah, I used to make tunes tapes for the fraternity guys or all our gang and everything. We used to go down the shore, and "Working for the Weekend" was always like because it was Friday night when we were driving down to the shore. All right, Lair, I've got one more for you. It's a sure. more modern, probably a post-grunge group. Not real well-liked. I don't know if you're going to figure this out because you, like me, kind of, uh, we like to go back a little bit. Yeah, I'm not try to too, figure this one out. too hip on the modern stuff. But, All uh, right, so look away, Lair, because I'm okay. going to queue it up. I'm looking away. All right, hey, Lair. Can I look? Yeah. Oh, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Post number Rock. one, Warm probably up. from Canada because yep, definitely because that's the what the show. show is about. Yep. 
I definitely don't know who this is, so I'm going to guess Nickelback because that's the one group you that kid. I knew was from Canada, but I didn't say anything about them because I don't know a damn freaking thing about them. <laughs> and I've definitely not heard this song or any other song by they did. All right, Lair. Well, we wrapped up bands from Canada you didn't even know you were listening to. Oh <laughs> it was a lot right. of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And be sure that, uh, you know, like, subscribe to us, uh, leave a lot of comments. Lair and I, please, always, please. Yeah. We always send, uh, send our love back by, uh, by replying to your comments because uh, we care. And we did not miss anybody, but if you think we did put them in the comments and straighten our asses out. Am I allowed <laughs> to say that? Yeah. Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have said yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> straighten All us right, out. Lair. Yeah, we got lots of great shows. We're racking up the videos, enjoying doing every minute of it. And uh, you take care of yourself and folks out there, take care of yourselves. Be well, and we'll talk to you again soon. Talk to you later. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, everybody.